guys, welcome to our second Product Focus Friday for January. We are working with Lily B Design this month. So I have another kit uh, from Scrap Room from back in like 2000 and what did I figure this one was? 2011. So I figured I would pull this one out. Um, I've got these two photos of, well, it was Halloween. And you're thinking these photos are not very Halloween-y. They're not, but we're going to have some fun. I'm going to, these are leftovers from a Confessions of a Paper Attic cut file um, that I did recently, and I thought the blues would tie in this. The red kind of ties in my shirt. We're going to do this sketch from Paper Issues this month. Um, they're doing 31 sketches this month, so we're going to have some fun, and we're playing with texture or modeling paste. So let me pick out a stencil and get my texture paste and let's get started. So I had picked out, um, I started playing with the collection before I picked out my stencil and my modeling paste, but I did have a bunch of stencils out um, that I was going to use on another uh, layout that I made the same day and then ended up not, which was kind of interesting. So I had some laying to the side. So first I'm going to make, I'm going to make the blue the more um, prevalent color here. So we're going to rip a big section of that blue pattern paper and then um, a little bit of the red and the red's going to go on the top and the bottom. And then I'm using the pattern paper because it has the blue, the red, and then it has like this yellowy green, which is kind of the color of Mike Wazowski and kind of the color then of um, other parts of the stars that I made that I said are like the insides of the cut files um, from the layout I just did, I think, today, same day. <laughs> or you'll see it later today. Mm, or maybe it was last week. I don't know, honestly. Um, so I put it in my uh, misting box. That's what I have. It's just a nice uh, pizza box from, a pizza style box from, uh, an order from a long time ago for missing things just to keep it contained. But I ended up realizing, duh, I need to be using some texture paste. So I end up actually, um, first I'm going to mat my photos on black. They came with a white border when I printed them from Persnickety Print, with which I love. Um, so I trimmed it down so it's a smaller white border. And then I matted them both on black, get them situated, figure out where I want my stars. And then what I'm going to do is I grabbed some um, Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I believe this is technically the expanding mousse, so I could have heated it up and it would puff up like a marshmallow, but I didn't really want that. Um, it's technically a texture paste or texture mousse or texture something. Mine dries out every time. It's just cold enough and I think I didn't get a good seal on it, but all you have to do is add some water and you can still use it. Works great. Um, but I'm going to put that through my stencil. Um, I grabbed this Vicky Booten one. Uh, onto the stars so that all three colors are then on the stars. So this ends up being a layout. I end up putting the stars too. Like I love the way I had them arranged the first time. And then when I put them back, they don't end up being arranged the same, but it works. Um, this is definitely a layout. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it at the moment. I feel like I kind of forced it. <laughs> I, I like the way the stars turn out and I like the way the whole color scheme turns out. But I feel like I need something else. I think I'm going to add either a tab or a label or some stuff above the photos. And then I'm going to journal more because I didn't journal a ton on camera. But that's fine. That happens a lot. I'm going to journal more. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You guys all let me know how you, how you think about that. You know, it's one of those, you don't have to have like love every layout. This is just, I like it. And I think I did a pretty good job of like bringing all the colors together. I just, there's something, something missing. I think it is because I need more embellishment. Like I didn't add anything else besides the stars, the photos, the paper, and then the title. Like, I think that's what it is. I think I need some more embellishment. So TBD, I'm not going to add them. Um, in the meantime, you're not going to see them. Um, but I might add them later on. We'll see. But now I'm just, everything's dry, and so I'm going to rearrange everything, put everything back down, 
um, I get everything glued down. I am inking around the edges of the stars as well, just so they stand out a little bit more. So I'm inking them with just some black soot uh, distress oxide. Or is it just distressed ink? Yeah, it's just distressed ink. Um, just to give them a little bit of a border so they pop out. Just because, the, especially like the one very blue star for some reason is the one I chose to go up behind the photos on the blue pattern paper. So it just kind of blends in. So to make them stand out. And then I end up inking the entire layout as well. And I really like that. So um, yeah, we'll have to see what I decide to do. Uh, I think I, yeah. I think I just need to add some embellishments and that would make me a little bit happier. I'm pretty sure these are the photos of him um, trying his costume on or maybe when we just put it on the first time. Uh, or maybe just trying it on and then he didn't want to take it off and he was so stinking cute. That might be it because I don't think this was actually Halloween. I should probably look that up and figure that out. I don't think it was actually Halloween when we took these photos so... Yeah, I should probably figure it out so I know what date to write on them and um, where to put them. Anyway, so I am, I overlapped, you know, put some of the stars so they're coming off the page. So I'm just cutting off the excess now. I'm putting that one up there. It just seemed empty because, um, like I said, I had actually put them all on in different order than what I had originally decided. So just making sure I have all my space kind of arranged, inking the edges now. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some thickers out of my um, stash. And I really liked these black ones. And I like the word trouble. And I wanted to do hello trouble. And it's more just because he's so sick and cute that it's like, oh, he's trouble. You know, one of those like, oh gosh, watch out. This kid's trouble. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. But this tis cute for sure that that is for sure it is very very cute <laughs> so I'm just journaling below there kind of regarding that and yeah I think I will add some stuff I do add some black splatters with some watered down black acrylic paint and that is about it so thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the close-ups and I assure you I did I did add some more stuff to this page because yeah it just was missing something and um we'll see you next Friday thank you